I'm here with Canadian drifter Frederic uh, Osbo in his stock drivetrain Scion Toyota Camry. What? That's what this is, right? It's not a Camry. It, it's, it is a Toyota. Actually, it's a Scion. Okay. It's not a Camry. Looks good. Is this plastic? <laughs> yeah. I was really hoping to interview Tanner, but they said he was busy. I tried to get one of his crew members, but they were busy too, so here we are. Yeah, he is a big inspiration, okay? Why do you recommend the Scion TC as a good drift car for beginners? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful here. Um, so what you're trying to say though is that no one should ever buy a Scion TC? It's not a good drift car because it's front wheel drive. I think- How do you do it then? So these guys, they, they took the car, they basically put a Supra drivetrain into it and it's a championship contender. Do the tech inspection guys know about this? They do. There's a misconception about this car being allowed because there's a four wheel drive, you know, variant in Europe or in, in Japan. That's not the reason. The reason is that, that used to be the reason with the TC1, with the Goosh. Since then, FD opened up to front wheel drive chassis uh, because they want diversity. They don't want, you know, only 240s. Sounds like a lot of excuses not to get a 240SX. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean a 240 is is a great beginner car. Beginner car. 240SX is a championship winning car. It, it totally is. But I think the sport gets better, you know, with people doing different things. Well, that's that's your opinion. That's my opinion. Yes. We're here in America's heartland. For all of your American fans out there, why would you say that Norway is number one and USA is a distant number two? <laughs> Well, if I were to say that, that would kind of fall on its face because we're five million people and you Americans are what, 300? Thousand? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So what you're saying is that like, if there was a war between Norway and America, who would come out on top? Oh, I know, is that America has more military equipment in Norway than Norway has on its own. How much oil would you say Norway has? About. Thousand. What are your coastal fortifications? <laughs> well, we have a couple actually. Back in you know, World War II, we had, well, what does that mean? Let's say that some foreign country was going to invade Norway. Where would they want to strategically bomb first? <laughs> so the big question that everyone is dying to know, at what point last year did you decide that you didn't want to win the championship? So here's my deal. We came 13th the first year, 12th the next year, 6th the following year, 4th, year after that, then 2nd last year. So it was just a good story, you know? That way you keep everybody amped up for that win. So On this edge. year is the year. That's the plan. It's all in the script. We already paid Ryan Sage the right amount of money. Not as much as Chris's team. We're building up to that. Yeah, this is wrestling. Yeah. You're right. I interviewed Forsberg in Long Beach. Yeah, I saw that. Did, did you plant a weapon in my car? That's right, TSA probably took it away. No, I, uh, I, don't, I don't do that stuff anymore. I don't plant weapons in cars anymore, though. What do you mean anymore? Well, after... What the, what the f is this? <laughs> Come on, man. What is that? I thought you said that our countries are friends. <laughs> are those arrows pointed to We're Atlanta? We're not North Korea, dude. Norway's secret invasion plans. Norway, North Korea. I don't know. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds pretty similar. Dude, dude, we're probably more advanced than you Americans in, in a lot of ways. When I wanted to Sounds like Norway's about to get a ton of freedom. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Dude, when I need to do a, a wire transfer, which I have to do every now and then, yeah. I don't have to go to the bank. I can do it online, you know, the interwebs. What's that? We don't have it in most rural parts yeah, of see, America. That's what I figured. We do kiss our cousins, though. Do do Norway that? would never invade America. These plans say otherwise. Everyone knows the truth here, finally. If, if it were to try our luck in the U.S., we would not invade Atlanta. Where would you invade? Maybe New York. Dude, I love Atlanta. Right. It has the best fans, you know, it's green and lush and people get rowdy and shoot shotguns up the, you know, beds of their truck as they watch drifting. I heard that you blew a m two days ago. Don't believe everything you hear, mm -hmm. but that was true. Okay, so we have the smallest the smallest uh, in the sport, and then we blew that 
first day. And people think it's because we're pushing it too far. But the reality is it was all external things. That's, uh, that's what kills me. This conversation is going to sound really uh, interesting when I bleep the word motor throughout its entirety. You guys say in here, right? I'm just going to bleep that too. By the way, that was really messed up when you damaged Vaughn's car here in Atlanta last year. I've never messed up Vaughn's car. Yeah, dude, like you did whatever happened and then his car was screwed up in the suspension and all I know is that you guys were running together and his car was broken at the end. <laughs> yeah, because it's a Ford. <sighs> That's another uh, another rip on America from Norway. Dang. How do you say I love you drifted it in Norwegian? Do I don't for bamma idiot drifted it? I'm not gonna try to repronounce that, but I love you too, Frederick Osbo. Love you. That, that's your... Can I touch Jesus. your Can I touch your face? No, more? no. How do I get out of here? Good luck. <laughs> Damn it. I'm out of here. Bye, Freddy. Bye.